How's it going? This is the uh, the great stone ruins of the church from San Juan Capistrano. It was built in 1806. Check it out. Woo! <laughs> San Juan Cal Capistrano, California. I don't know what those things are. But they look oh Maybe they used to have statues of dead people. Only an earthquake could be something like that. So one can only imagine how it was like when there was an earthquake here back in the 1800s. Did they stop, drop, and roll? No, that's fire. Solid. There's my wife right there. She's she's pretty she's pretty amazed by the whole thing too. What do you think, wifey? What do you think of the whole place? So this is a statue depicting a Catholic priest with a young boy. See? See? They've been doing that ever since. So this is where they kept all the grain, where they made bread. It's called the what? The granary. The granary. So if this is the granary, where's the beerery? <laughs> That's where I'm going. So I guess this is the uh, cemetery for the mission. You can see. I guess not too many people died back then. So not that many uh, headstones around here. Unless they took all the headstones out but left all the bodies in. You only moved the headstones! You only moved the headstones! So we're over here in some kind of a garden. I don't know what this is. I think over there is a weed garden. And whatever this is, I don't know. Some kind of torture device. Yeah, the Spaniards were pretty brutal back then, so yeah. So these are the metal working furnaces of the mission. They introduced, it says right there, they introduced the natives working here to the metal age. <laughs> this is the main courtyard. As you can see how splendid it is with all the plants and butterflies. It's so serene and majestic. One word I would use to describe this place. Hot. This is all the empty room according to my wife. Secret door right there. Should we, should we, should we try to break in? I don't want to show off my power yet. This was, this was very trouble. That's how a Spanish uh, soldier used to look like. Looks like you have a little too much burrito. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. But that was their thing. They were very, uh, they lived uh, a very boring life. <laughs> and uh, I wouldn't have wanted to be a partner back then because. This is all they did, it was kind of like hang out in these hot houses, whatever they are. I would much rather be like a, like a cowboy. Yeah. Okay, so we're over here at the altar of the church. Check this out. Very lavish. Lots of gold. How about What is this? What do you think this is? It's gold. Yeah, there is the priest, the gold, and the preach. Maybe that's a grave site right there. See the mounds right there? It's a pretty big mound. Maybe a giant is buried in there. It's at least 15 feet. Definitely a giant. They used to use these to boil down animal fat to make candles, soap, and grease. Check that out. So this is a koi pond. I don't see any koi fish. Do you? I will try and instigate it. Why are you so negative? <laughs> oh, there you go. I see a koi. That's a big one. That's a big one koi. There's a, there's a bunch of them right there. See them? I'm going to try to catch one with my hand. Come on. Koi, koi, koi. He's a big one. He's going to bite my finger. A big sucker. He's at least like what? Three feet? Is that three feet? Mm -hmm. Here, koi. Koi, koi. Hey, little koi. 
Daddy's got some food for you, little Koi. Come here. He's all orange. Have you ever heard of the comedian Joe Koi? He's funny. Just like this fish. Ever heard of the Filipino food Okoi? I can make one out of this. I fry it. It's really good. Okoi is really good. Bacon's good. Pork chops good. People are gonna think I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself. Ah, uh, the Koi went away. What a little shit. For sure, boy. Right? People were short back then. And see if I could almost hit my head. And I'm 5'9". I think that was like the standard size back then. Like four and a half. So I just got a nice little information from Miss Smarty Pants over here. What did you say, babe? 3,000 people were buried here, but they moved them. 3,000 people were buried here. Are you sure they were moved? Are you sure maybe they just took the headstones out and then left the bodies in? You only moved the headstones! You only moved the headstones! This is the outside of the wine factory. Look at that. It's a lot of wine. It was originally indoors. So thanks to the Catholics, we have wine. They were the original partiers. Oh, but no, it's not considered partying. It's for communion. Speak to God. That's a lot of wine. Look at that. That's at least like... Can you imagine swimming in a pool of wine? That would be awesome. Or better yet, beer. Do they have a beer vat around here, babe? No, babe. This wine. What kind of a mission is this? These are bells. See that? That's how they used to communicate back then, bells. I'm serious. If it's a low chiming bell, it means that a, an adult died. If it's a high chiming bell, like a ding, it's a little kid that died because of a Catholic priest. So this is a well. There's a bunch of money in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I want to get it. I'm going to try to get it. We're watching me right now because I'm talking into a, a telephone. I'm like really paranoid. There's about, it looks like there's about like 40 bucks worth of quarters and coins in it. Yeah, but I can't reach it. I'm going to try to be a ninja about it. Let's, let's eat and boil fat, make candles. So that'd be like their conversation, you know? Oh man, I get to make candles this fat. <laughs> or make soap. I didn't know soap was made out of animal fat. So life as a soldier back then, right? The first thing that popped that I saw was no pay. Forget that. There's your guns, kind of like my bedroom. Life as a Padre, as you can see, that's all they ate were vegetables. Look at that. Oh, there's stuff in the ceiling too. I don't know what that is. That must be their stash right there. I almost didn't notice it. Very smart people. Another short doorway. Look at that. It's like up to my head. There's a there's a, a, pod, a Padre's uh, daily schedule. They were, very, they were very active back then. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Kind of creeping me out. I think he's like a little demon. It's a baptismal font. Really, a font? Like you know, Helvetica. A Helvetica font. This is a baptismal font. That's really the name of it. See the baptismal font. I kind of prefer Helvetica font, to be honest. But or New Times Roman, but <laughs> baptismal. It's kind of hard to read. So they didn't have radios back then. I don't know what their entertainment was. Did they have? Uh, like uh, wenches. They used to be really short. Even with my sort of stature, I'm still taller than them. And I'm Filipino. They weren't, they weren't fed very well, you know? And um, yeah, that's why they're short. Check it out at Cowbell. Thanks for watching my video vlog. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave a nice comment below or email me at vince at sanremoproductions.com. That's vince at sanremoproductions.com. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so I can make more videos. Talk to you later.